What's up guys, welcome back. Valentine's Day is right around the corner and I have just a recipe for you lovebirds. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make this delicious Valentine's Day dinner. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right guys, meet me in the kitchen, let's make it happen. First things first, we're getting the party started with this beautiful rack of lamb. We're gonna go ahead and carve this into lamb chops. It's super easy, all you have to do is get a nice sharp knife and find the bone right here that you need to separate and then you can part them out into individual lamb chops. You can also sometimes ask your butcher to do this for you or you can buy them individually prepared, but sometimes that is a little bit more expensive per pound. So don't be overwhelmed or discouraged if you see the whole rack of lamb. It's super easy to part them into lamb chops and it'll save you a couple bucks. So once we've got that out of the way, it's time to get some flavor on these bad boys. We're gonna add them to a large mixing bowl, hit them with about two or three tablespoons of good quality olive oil, and then we're gonna begin seasoning them. First, I'm going in with a little bit of lemon juice, about a tablespoon or so. We're gonna work that in, and then we're gonna go in with whatever seasoning blend you like on your beef or lamb. I'm using some all-purpose seasoning and my hot all-purpose seasoning. If you don't have this, just use your favorite blend at home or throw a little salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, some cayenne pepper. Things like that work really well with lamb. I'm also gonna add this ancho chili powder and a little smoked paprika. I really enjoy that flavor profile on the lamb as well. But again, guys, if you have your own favorite seasoning, by all means, go ahead and use that. We're gonna get in there with our hands and work in all that seasoning into the lamb chops, really kind of massage that in. Then we're gonna cover it and pop that in the refrigerator for a couple hours and let them marinate. So while we let our lamb chops hang out and soak up all that flavor, we're gonna get started on prepping our sides. We're gonna peel, dice, and clean some potatoes, add them to a pot with some water and some salt, and bring them up to a boil until they get nice and tender. Next up is our sauce for the spicy green beans. In a mixing bowl, we're gonna add one fourth cup of low sodium soy sauce, one and a half tablespoons of sriracha, one teaspoon of garlic and ginger paste. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of my all-purpose seasoning or just a pinch of salt and pepper will do the trick here. And then we're going in with a couple tablespoons of honey just to balance out the heat from the sriracha. Break out the whisk and mix to combine. You can taste and adjust the flavor to your preference. If you wanted a little bit more spicy, you could add some red pepper flakes or a little more sriracha. To balance that out and make it a little bit more sweet, you could add some more honey. And today we're keeping it super simple with this microwavable bag of green beans. We're gonna pop these in the microwave until they get nice and tender and then toss them in the sauce. And speaking of sauce, now it's time to get started on our lamb sauce. Shout out to Gordon Ramsay and a skillet over medium heat. We're gonna add two tablespoons of butter followed by two thirds cup of brown sugar and one half cup of bourbon. Make sure you taste as you go. You guys know I'm not passing up opportunity to take a shot. So cheers, my friends. Happy Valentine's Day. You wanna bring that to a simmer and allow that alcohol to cook off and reduce. It's gonna form a nice glazed consistency. So you wanna let this do its thing for two or three minutes. Next, we're going in with some Dijon mustard. Quick reminder, guys, that all the specific measurements and ingredients are provided for you in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. Next, we're going in with a couple tablespoons of honey just to sweeten things up a little bit more. Make sure you taste as you go and adjust the flavor to your preference. We're also gonna add one teaspoon each of garlic and ginger paste. You could also use fresh garlic or minced garlic here. A couple dashes of worst word in the world sauce. We're gonna mix that in and let this sauce reduce for about five to 10 minutes until it forms a glaze-like consistency, which you'll see here in just a second. This recipe is phenomenal, guys. We're gonna add a little bit of seasoning to taste, followed by some red pepper flakes to add a little bit of heat to the party. There we go. Oh man, that sauce looks good. This is the perfect way to introduce somebody to lamb. If they said they didn't like lamb before, this recipe will change their mind, I promise. This sauce is also good on salmon and chicken wings, a number of different things. As you can see, our sauce is coming together nicely. It's smoother than a three-day weekend. Once you got the sauce right where you want it, you can set that aside until it's time to plate things up. I'm gonna give you guys one more look at that beautiful sauce, and then we're moving on to our mashed potatoes. In a skillet over medium heat, we're gonna add three tablespoons of butter. Once that starts to melt, we're gonna add two cups of half and half or whole milk. Next, we're going in with two tablespoons of sour cream. This step is really important, guys. It's always good to warm up your butter and cream mixture before adding it to your potatoes. You never wanna add cold cream to hot potatoes because then they get real chewy and kinda gummy. And that's not what we're going for, guys. It's Valentine's Day. We gotta make sure these potatoes are silky smooth. We're gonna add some aromatics to the party, a little rosemary, which is optional, but does infuse a little bit of flavor. We also went in with some garlic and some seasoning, some salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder. Whatever seasoning you like in your potatoes, you can keep it super simple and just use a little salt and pepper, or you can jazz it up a little bit. We're gonna bring this to a simmer. After it reaches a simmer for a minute or so, we're gonna fish out that rosemary, kill the heat, and then we're going in with about a half cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese or store-bought Parmesan cheese if you wanna cut a couple corners like your boy did on this episode, no big deal. 
We're gonna add that Parmesan cheese and allow the residual heat in there to melt that nicely. We want the sauce nice and smooth. Again, basically what we're doing right here is making a delicious Parmesan garlic sauce that we're gonna pour over top of our potatoes, mash them and mix them beautifully. Speaking of the potatoes, you wanna do the fork test to ensure they're nice and tender like you see right here. Once they're tender, drain them off, break out your potato masher of choice and mash the potatoes as much as you want. I like a few lumps in my potatoes, but you can put them through a potato ricer and make them as smooth as you want to. We're gonna mix that in. You wanna add the cream a little bit at a time, continuing to mash until you get the right consistency. Taste as you go and adjust the flavor to your preference. And then you wanna continue adding a little cream at a time, mixing constantly until you reach the consistency that you're looking for. Another quick reminder, guys, that all the specific measurements and ingredients are provided for you in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. Next, we're gonna hit the potatoes with a little extra black pepper because that's my personal preference. I love some black pepper on my potatoes. Once you have them right where you want them, you can set them aside and we'll warm them up right before we plate everything up. This mashed potato recipe is money, guys. You can use this anytime you want to during the week. Perfect for dinner or meal prep if you're on a diet that, you know, you can eat mashed potatoes with this much butter and cream, then salute to you. And now, my friends, it is time to finish up the green beans right before we cook the lamb. The green beans just came out of the microwave. They're nice and tender. We're just going to add them to a skillet over medium heat and toss them in that sauce that we made earlier. Bring that up to a simmer just to warm the sauce through. Let it reduce a little bit and kind of glaze those green beans. They're going to be super delicious. Got a little bit of spice to them that's going to balance beautifully with the rest of this meal. And now it's time for the star of the show. When it's skillet, we're going to heat that over medium high heat. Add two tablespoons of olive oil or avocado oil. Then we're going to lay those lamb chops in. Try to lay the meat away from you if you can. Press down for maximum surface area contact so you can get a beautiful crust to develop. That is where all the flavor lies in the lamb. We're going to get them nice and caramelized. Baste them in some butter and rosemary. And then we're going to glaze them in that delicious sauce that we made earlier. Quick little money shot for you guys. Say it with me, guys. Looking good. After we've developed the color that we're looking for on the lamb chops, it takes about two to three minutes. We're going to go ahead and flip them and then baste them in some butter. We're going to add the butter to the skillet, turn the heat down on the skillet, add a little rosemary. You could throw some thyme and garlic in there too if you want to. And just baste the lamb chops to make sure they get all that delicious flavor. Oh man, this is going to be good, guys. I cannot wait for you to try this recipe. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you plan on making this for Valentine's Day. Hell, you can make this on a random Tuesday if you want to. We're going to sear that fat cap as well to make sure that fat is rendering nicely. Look at that lamb chop. Now it's time to plate this up, my friends. We're going down with a nice mound of mashed potatoes that we warmed up right before it's time to present. Then we're going to go on top of those mashed potatoes with those delicious spicy garlic green beans. Add those right on top. And then we're going to plate the lamb chops right on top of the mound of veggies and potatoes. Oh, man. Nice little presentation right here for Valentine's Day. We're going to warm that sauce in a measuring glass. That way we can get a beautiful sauce pour for you guys. Brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me, guys. Looking good. Even more importantly, these are going to be tasting good. We got these plated up. I'm going in for the taste test. I cannot wait to dig in. This is my wife's favorite meal. So for Valentine's Day, we typically have lamb chops because she calls the shots when it comes to Valentine's Day. Fellas, you know how that goes. This is definitely a fork drop recipe. Let me know what you think in the comments. Give your boy a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and the bell to enable notifications. And as always, thank you for your support.